Hi Capricorn and welcome to my channel. This reading is your love reading for the month of September. So this is for you Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Mercury. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification button because I'm uploading a new video every day. So don't miss a video. And if you are interested in personal reading with me, scroll down the screen, you will find all the information, the prices and how to contact me. So this is for you Capricorn for the month of September. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Mercury. This is for your love life. All right, so let's start. Uh, this is uh, your lover at the moment or your ex-lover or your partner. What are they doing? And this is uh, why the reason of they behaving this way at the moment how they do feel about you how they think you feel or you feel about them what is their intention toward you and the relationship here is if there is anything you can do yourself so you can fix the relation or keep the relationship to be move forward or uh, like what is your rule at the moment if there is something you can do and this one is uh, for yourself as well. What should you do next? What is your next step for yourself and for your life? And uh, this is uh, your energy at the moment, Capricorn. It is uh, 10 of sword. So you are feeling at, at the moment sad. You're feeling betrayed. You're feeling that you have been stabbed in your back. Uh, you feel uh, that someone uh, has betrayed you and was not honest or trustworthy with you this is could be about your love life like that could be about this lover or it just can be about anybody else it could be work family uh, colleague anybody so it doesn't have to be this energy is towards this person it could be but we will see so let me just uh, flip all the cards and we'll start the reading So uh, your lover or partner or ex-partner or ex-lover at the moment uh, Capricorn is 10 of cups. So this is means that they are seeking uh, the full happiness or they are really happy at the moment and in have the full happiness. So this is could be for some of you because it's a general reading because you do have the 10 of sword as an energy at the moment so this could mean capricorn if you are uh, if this ten of sword is toward this partner or this lover so this is could mean that they might be happy at the moment with somebody else or they could be already happy uh, with without being with you doesn't have to be they are with someone they could be just to have that ten of cups by uh, being fulfilled through their job and their family or uh, kids or uh, grandkids like whatever uh, they could be as well uh, if this ten of sword has nothing to do with uh, this partner or this lover and it could be just something happened with, with someone else uh, this is means that they could be uh, just uh, happy uh, happy without any other partner they just uh, being happy or they want to be happy with you they seeking the ten of cups with you and that you do think that they betray you but they might be uh, really seeking that ten of cups and that happiness only with you so why they are behaving as ten of cups at the moment uh, because they are uh, be they have been through the nine of souls so this is mean that uh, they uh, they they gone through maybe before you like it doesn't have to be only you it could be they have been through a tough time or hard time or they just went out from uh, a breakup or maybe a loss any kind of loss loss in a family loss in money any kind of loss and they were seeking after that to be uh, in that ten of cups and to be happy uh, they could be as well uh, if you are in a separation 
this is can be the they are at the moment uh, sad regret uh, feeling overwhelmed uh, and regretting the past and wishing uh, if only that person is coming back to me and they are at the moment wishing to be in that ten of cups with you and regretting that you are not together uh, this is could be as well that they gone through uh, in the past in their past relationships uh, through a hard time of uh, break up or a partner who was not good to them and gives them really tough time and now they seeking to be with someone who is be you or anybody uh, only in a ten of cups relationship so they won't accept anything less than ten of cups which is happiness at home commitment uh, financial stability uh, uh, romance everything how they do feel about you at the moment uh, they feel that you are a king of spades which is king of wand so this is mean uh, that they are thinking that you are a, a powerful leader they see you as uh, a, someone who is inspirational uh, give inspiration to other uh, maybe you are a famous person uh, someone who is giving speaking or um, motivational motivational speak or you are uh, a leader uh, um, a high manager or you are um, could be having a business some, something like that having a business and you are the leader of your own business uh, someone could be working in authority as well like you have authority figure as well uh, they see you as a role model uh, someone who's charismatic uh, successful uh, someone who is uh, care about and keen about wor their work their career and finance a big deal like maybe put that first before anything else uh, someone who is willing uh, to take the risk only based on insight like have a uh, big wisdom uh, someone who as well like to be a center of the attention uh, and you are someone who's confident so they see you as uh, a very good uh, image and a very good picture but they could be uh, seeing you as someone who is really really successful busy with your success in a way that maybe you are not uh, having time to give them uh, for this for the relationship uh, or they could be at the moment really happy with you just uh, being happy with you because you are successful and uh, someone who is uh, willing to give but just because the reason is the nine of sword I wouldn't go more towards that they are happy now because you're giving them something because it won't be the reason is the nine of sword I wouldn't think so I will go more that they are seeking the ten of cups or they are in ten of cups uh, with someone or they decided to be in a ten of cups because they had uh, that nine of sword in their life before which is uh, sadness and uh, regretting and they not willing to do that to themselves again but uh, they could see you as someone who is successful uh, looking after their someone who look after their career success money um, uh, about uh, looking forward to their life and uh, the roman romance or romantic life or being in a relationship is something secondary for you it's not your priority and this is could uh, make them feel sad and they are seeking the ten of cups and nothing only other than the ten of cups they could see you as well as already their partner if you are uh, the husband or the wife to this person capricorn they see you as their husband or their wife the the person they are committed to or the person they are with and want to be with forever uh, for uh, how they think or what they think you are feel you feeling at the moment or what they think you feeling toward them they uh, think that you are feeling uh, it is the emperor so this is mean that uh, they think you feel about them that they are possessive uh, they are uh, like selfish they only think about themselves uh, they someone who use their power or their authority uh, over others and over you to uh, implement what they want or to reach to their target uh, 
they uh, think as well uh, that you um, you feel about them that they are insensitive to uh, others emotion or others feeling and they not as passion as uh, they should be uh, they someone who is uh, like kind of really stubborn and have uh, their own thinking their own way of doing things and they not accepting uh, others than what's in their mind uh, and they force uh, their uh, desire and what they want and what they need on others. This is how they think that you see them. Uh, and they think as well you see them as someone who's uh, controlling and dominating and they try always to reach their, their goals by uh, control everything and everyone around them. Uh, how they think you feel at the moment they think that you feel kind of tightness, kind of uh, uh, you feel un, uh, like unease, uh, feeling that uncomfortable with them, and they uh, like stopping you from moving forward with them while they already seeking the Ten of Cups. But for some of you, as I said, they could be already in Ten of Cups with someone else or in Ten of Cups with their family and the career or whatever, because they planning not to be in the Nine of Swords anymore. They could be where in, in that Nine of Swords in a previous relationship, and they don't want to continue to have that again if they struggle and suffer with you the same, that Nine of Swords as well, like they started to feel panic or uh, not able to sleep or uh, jealousness or any kind of that again. Uh, they probably uh, decided to just be happy by themselves with family and friends and uh, career or could be they did seek someone else already. Depends on, uh, take it where it resonates because for you because it's just a, a general reading. So uh, this is how or what they think you see them. They think that you see them as someone who is uh, has authority or power or they trying to control other possessive uh, insensitive to others emotion uh, and their feeling uh, they are not passionate enough uh, they uh, very stubborn and whatever they have in their mind they just uh, go for it and they don't accept others uh, emotion or others ideas uh, they, someone who's really really stubborn this is how they think you see them and in the same time, they, what they think you feel at the moment, they think that you are feeling uh, tightness in your life or tightness about them, or you're not feeling comfortable in this relationship, and uh, you're not feeling that you can move forward toward them because they kind of stopping you to go forward because of the, they always put limited options or uh, limited ways and directions for you to go through. If one of them is not suit you, Capricorn, you can't find any other direction because they limited the option to you. Uh, what is their intention toward you and toward the relationship? It is the uh, two of cups. So this is mean that uh, I give you all the option as well. They could be uh, willing to be with you in a relationship. So if this partner uh, or lover, uh, you think that they did betray you or, or they already did betray you by anyhow or stab you in the back by anyhow, uh, they are for some of you could be willing to come forward and speak love and tell you that they want to be in a relationship with you and they already feel that you are their soulmate and uh, they are in love with you and they want to be with you all the time and they could offer you the commitment or want to get back to your commitment again. Uh, for some of you, this is, could be the, their intention as a general to be in a committed relationship. So if you're not willing to commit or you haven't been committed to them or the, if they did ask you about commitment and you said I'm busy or uh, I have my work or career or I, uh, I'm not planning to be in a committed relationship at the moment. This is their plan to find whoever is willing to be with them in a committed relationship. Uh, their intention as well is uh, to be in love, which is equal love, someone who is equal to them. So if you uh, feel like they are less than you by anyhow or you told them by any way that they are not in the same level as you or th their thinking is uh, limited or anything that you think is that there is lots of differences between you, uh, 
they are seeking or they are willing to seek someone who has uh, who is like uh, like minded someone like them whatever if they are uh, not thinking carefully whatever you think they are they are thinking is that best way to go is to find someone like them someone similar to them rather than they have to change themselves to go up to you or to please you or anybody else uh, they are thinking as well uh, that they uh, need a partner who uh, they feel like a soulmate not about twin flame like you could be you are twin flame together and by the way because the king of spades here it could indicate that uh, maybe you are older than them capricorn so if you are older than them or way older than them because older than them it's five ten years is not a big deal if it's you you way older it's like a twin flame relation like maybe 15 20 25 years uh, older than them and this is could uh, or, or did make some troubles between you both so they are now seeking someone uh, could be equal means a uh, similar age so they trying to um, like uh, stay away from the trouble thinking is that maybe because of that big difference in our age that's why we couldn't communicate so let's seek someone who is similar to me so this person is not seeing me as a fool or as someone who's possessive or immature or whatever so if it is uh, way uh, different uh, about your age and it is a twin flame relationship they now understand that or the thinking that maybe the problem is coming from the big gap in age uh, and uh, they thinking to find a soulmate who is matched with them and it doesn't matter about uh, a twin flame relation they will think or try to find someone who is equal to them so by this way they can uh, not be judged or criticized for whatever they're doing this is for some of you uh, in the same time as well they could be as i said willing to come forward to you and tell you that they are ready for commitment and they ready to be with you or they want to be with you if you were thinking that they are controlling everything they will come and probably they will explain everything and uh, look you in in the eye and open their heart and tell you what exactly they do want so this is uh, probably will be uh, like all the options so if you feel that uh, they uh, this ten of sword is because of this partner or this lover they might come forward and explain and seek again the reunion between you both and it will be a reconciliation between both of you uh, for some of you you could be feel already that ten of sword because they already seek that two cups two of cups somewhere else and they could be in a ten of cups with someone else if this is happening it's already you are in it now it's not something will happen it's already you know and uh, or you aware that this ten of cups because of something hidden and you feel it uh, now what is what should you do or is there is anything you can do towards this relationship to fix it uh, is there is anything you can do at the moment to uh, move forward towards this relationship or towards this partner it is uh, so it's your action towards this relationship it is the priestess the high priestess so this is mean it is about the unknown so it's about yourself the intuition to connect with your intuition connect with the unknown which means that seek the unknown seek the unknown knowledge maybe uh, ask for a sign uh, maybe ask for a dream uh, say uh, if that's whatever i should do whatever please universe or god show me a dream or something i can go forward to it so it is to connect with yourself higher self god the universe and get the knowledge from the higher self and connect with your intuition and reflect that back and see if this is something in your mind you think you want to go forward with it because not every advice you will get you will feel comfortable to do it so connect the first with your higher self which is god the universe ask for dream for a sign whatever way you will choose and after you think this is the advice which or the voice you will hear in your 
uh, inside yourself or in your mind or in your ear from the higher self, then reflect it back and think about it. Connect with your intuition and see, will you willing to do that? Or can you modify it and do something else? So it is all will be about you. So there is no actually uh, an actual advice here for you to do. It's mainly you to connect with yourself, connect with your higher self, connect with your intuition and wait for the sign. Uh, something else you can have as an advice from the high priestess, it is to keep silent, uh, to keep steady, no actions. Like it's all inside actions. It's not an actual movement. It's no movement. It is mainly to go inside yourself, think, connect with the intuition, connect with the higher self, but don't do movement or don't do movement at the moment. Just wait and watch. Maybe wait for them to come forward and tell you about the two of cups. Maybe wait until you figure out if they are in two of cups already. So it's all about to wait and to figure out the hidden knowledge. What's the hidden from you here? If there is anything hidden here, it will come out. So you need just to wait until you know it. So keep connected with yourself, keep praying, keep manifesting, and keep looking after yourself. Uh, if this person is willing to come forward, they will come forward um, unless the higher self or your intuition is telling you that it is a divine timing or it is you who should co go forward and communicate with them the two of cups. So it is all about you, the action, the thinking, all about you. You the one who should decide, you the one who should connect with yourself and bring it up from yourself. So what is your next step? What should you do next? It is the death. The death is about ending and a new beginning. So if you do think that this person has betrayed you, so that betrayation is that from this lover or from this person. So in this case, you connect with yourself and think about it. If you want to, uh, or you consider it ended, or you think it is ended, so this is the time to tell yourself, this is the end and I will move forward and have my own new beginning. Uh, this is as well can tell you that it is the time to make it changes in yourself. So if this partner is seeking that Ten of Cups with you and this par partner is willing to come back and uh, or to be with you in Two of Cups and you were the one who stopped them from being with you because of the gun through the Nine of Swords from previous relationship or you the one who made them gun through the Nine of Swords and have had a hard time and then they reflecting that back and they moved away or something. So this is the time to make changes, make changes in your life, anything old the habit old, um, like make transformation, transformation in yourself, transformation in your life, uh, big changes, uh, let go of the past, uh, of the uh, end, like make ending of any old cycle and start something new. So this is could include to end this cycle of or this love or this relationship all total if you think it's not working anymore by anyhow and you are busy in something else so trust your intuition after that in this situation put a trust and look forward to the new uh, and make your own transformation for your own life if you think that you need to make transformation and the changes in your own life because of an old habits like you've been too busy at work or you only worry about or care about your career or finance, your, uh, your work and your success is your priority and you never cared about this partner and this partner wanna come back or even if you lost that partner because of that, it is the time to do transformation, time to look at that and make the changes. So at least you will not repeat the same cycle again. So uh, now I will give you some cards for advice Capricorn Improve health Improve health Maybe this is to improve your own health Because you're feeling the Ten of swords so you don't sleep You're not feeling fine So you probably need to improve your health 
or it can be improve your health of or the health of the relationship uh, this as well means that you are very depressed at the moment so your next move is to take yourself off the depression and the feeling of the sadness as well so to improve your health i will give you one more card from here within the next few months so within the next few months uh, probably you will uh, this high priestess will bring up uh, whatever was uh, hidden or whatever the knowledge you were seeking you will get it from the high priestess I'll give you a card from uh, the Romance Angels. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So it is time to re uh, retreat, look after yourself, look after your health. And this is, uh, I think, connected with uh, the card of changes, transformation and to connect with yourself your intuition and your higher self and to improve your health as well so all the best for you capricorn uh, i hope this reading uh, was useful for you uh, let me know what you think about this spread and uh, if the reading is resonating with you uh, leave me something in the comment uh, i'm reading all the comments and i'm enjoying it uh, all the best for you and i hope september will be a better month for everyone Thank you for having me, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.